is going on big booty monkeys i'm here with my big booty doggies and i'm doing a mod showcase with you guys today now this is the doggy talents mods it adds a lot of great features with your dog which i'm about to go through with you now so one of the features this mod adds is a doggy charm which basically spawns a dog right in front of you which is actually already your dog so you don't have to get it with the burns or anything like that. Now, right clicking this dog with the stick allows you to change its skin, which I think is pretty awesome. Oh, I can give him a polka dot little um, collar here. I can also change his name to Poopsicle. There we go, Poopsicle. And he actually starts with 15 points, meaning I can take something up to level 5 or get 15 level 1s, etc, etc. And after that, you can actually level your dog up even more by giving him treats. As you can see here, I've got a training tree. Every time he levels up, he actually gets one more point, allowing me to edit his stuff even more. And you can change to the super treats, the master treats, and then the, um, the dire treats. Now, the dire treats you can only use when you can no longer use the master treats, which obviously means it is pretty expensive. But there we go, we've got it up to this stage, and now we can just get him up to full, like the other dogs, and he will have lots of... See, there we go, we get a message saying, Congratulations, your dog has reached the ultimate level, which obviously means your dog is a badass. And now you can just go through this, and I've got 105 points to spend, which I can spend on absolutely anything I now, want. Now, not only this, you can use color shears to get rid of your dog if you don't want him to follow you around anymore. If you start to hit your dog or beat it up, it will get a blood skin like this. It won't stay like that forever, but it will be there for a short amount of time. Now, if he goes over to the food and stuff like that, it might heal a little bit quicker. Now, you also get a drool throw burn, or just a normal throw burn, which you can throw for your doggies. Your dogs will chase after it. You throw it, they'll go and get you it, and then they'll bring it back. As you can see there, he went to his bed, just jumped up on down on it for a little bit, and healed himself. So, here we go. I've got another um, drool throw burn, because my dog brought it back, and I'm going to play fetch and throw it over there for him. Now, one of the bad things about the throw burns is if you get two of them, at the same time, oh, what you doing? What you doing, doggy? Um, you can start to get an error. As you can see, he actually gave me a drool burn there. And it turned straight away into a throw burn. And if I right click it now, it throws them both at the same time. And then it glitches out a little bit when the dog actually gets it. As you can see, he gets it and he brings me it back. And now it's only one, which is kind of annoying if you've accidentally put two in your inventory. But you'll just have to make sure for now that you don't do that. Now, as I just showed you, the dogs have levels, which is pretty freaking awesome. Uh, if I quickly right click him with his stick, as you can see, this guy, I believe, is full. So he's got one point to spend, so I can spend it on that. And each one costs the amount it is. Now, every time your doggy levels up... Oh, damn it, I've just accidentally made them breed. Wrong ones. So this is actually a breeding doggy bun. You can then give them more, like this. So... Giving your dog more XP, this is the one I need. Look, as you can see on the chat, it is leveling up loads and loads and loads and loads and loads. It'll tell you when it no longer uses that burn, and then you can just make the other burn. And once it is leveled up loads, you can carry on changing all of this to make it super big. Now, some of these are limited, but not all of them are. So I'm just going to quickly go through a load of these and get them all as full as I can for you guys. And there we go, so that's me full for that. And these add awesome, um, uh, awesome features like hunting down creepers, finding your bed, or making villagers give you some pretty awesome loot. Now, if you right click your dog with an oak plank like this, you can actually give it items. So if I wanted to store this, if you have got the um the pack puppy for your dog now obviously the better it is it actually gets better and in one stage your dog will actually pick up items when it is following you off the ground which is obviously pretty awesome if you know you're just running about you don't have time it can pick up some awesome stuff for you and you can literally just send it off on in it will kill maybe a sheep bring you back its wool which it obviously is awesome so i really like this mod guys if you do like it too i would definitely advise going to check it out and downloading it for yourself it's a fun little mod to add it adds you know lots and lots 
lots of better features for your dog. And anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this mod showcase. If you have, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, bye.